the pronunciation is just different. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a little, um, well get to know me, you know, a little, uh, little something something because I know a lot of you guys that don't really know who I am. Well, most of you probably know who I am. It's not like I have a lot of people who look at my videos. But you know, if you want to know some more stuff about me, or if you already know me pretty well and think, you know what, let's just see what she has to say about herself, then, you know, watch this video. Tune into this video. You're gonna enjoy it. So I literally just went on Safari and looked up get to know me tag questions. Okay, the first three are, what is your full name? What does your name mean? Are you named after anyone? They kind of go hand in hand, so I'm just gonna answer them all together. My full name is Savion Graham. And it's not spelled like my YouTube channel spelled. It is actually G-R-A-H-A-M. I always tell people like Graham Cracker, but without the cracker. My name is Hebrew, at least that's what my mom told me. I think it's also some sort of flower, like the Hebrew national flower, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Again, going off what my brother told me. I'm named after Savion Glover, but my pronunciation is just different. He is a tap dancer, and if any of you guys have ever seen Happy Feet, he does the tap dancing for Mumble. A lot of these are like hand in hand. So these next questions too, I'm just gonna kind of like answer together. Uh, where are you from? What ethnicity are you? I am from San Diego, California. My ethnicity, I am two ethnicities. I'm half black, half white. Where were you born? I was born San Diego, California. Where did you grow up? San Diego, California. What is your favorite color, food, ice cream flavor, TV show? Oh my gosh, that's like... Four and one. Why did I choose this question? My favorite color is, well, I have three favorite colors. They're pink, purple, and blue. And depending on what the color is for, I'll choose one of those three. Lately, it's been pink. I've been leaning more towards pink, like a blush pink, like soft pinks. I really am a fan of soft pinks, like the softer colors. Even like my purples and blues, I like them to be kind of like softer tones. You feel? Food. I love Italian food. Spaghetti is like my comfort food. Like anytime I'm sad, that's what I want is spaghetti because like I grew up eating it all the time. Pasta is definitely my favorite food. Italian. You take me to an Italian place, I will love you forever. Ice cream flavor. I love caramel. So like salted caramel or anything with caramel in it, I love. I also love this flavor called Moose Tracks. There's like Reese's peanut butter, little tiny Reese's peanut butter cups in it. And it's mostly like vanilla, but it has that and then like chunks of chocolate in it. Oh my God, it's so good. I love Reese's as well. So any Reese's flavored ice cream or any ice cream that has Reese's peanut butter cups in it, like I am, 100% there. I also love cookies and cream. Did it just ask me for one? So I actually have six favorite TV shows. Number one, Supernatural. Love, love, love Supernatural. The Fosters. I'm so sad it's over, but I'm so glad we're doing a little spin-off TV show. I cannot wait to watch it. The Office. If you don't watch The Office, you need to watch The Office. It is literally the funniest show ever. Riverdale. Even though it's kind of like a new show and just started, it only has two seasons. It's been like one of my favorites recently. Once Upon a Time, I love that show. Also sad it's over, but oh my god. Friends! I love Friends. I sat and watched all 10 seasons in like two weeks. It was really bad. What is the scariest movie you've ever watched? I am a baby when it comes to scary movies. Cannot do them, will not watch. I did go see The Conjuring with my best friend Luna in 10th grade and that was the scariest movie I ever watched. Like I slept over at her house and I did not go to sleep until 5 a.m. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have two younger brothers. Jeremiah, who is gonna be 10 in September, and Bray, who is five. You actually saw him in the last video. He uh, had a little cameo in there. What is at the top of your bucket list? Traveling, just going anywhere. I really wanna go to India. Like I've been wanting to go to India since I was like eight. Are you a dog person or a cat person? I honestly love both. I will say though that I probably lean more towards dogs. I just, I love dogs, I love puppies, they're so cute. But I also love cats and kittens, they're also adorable. But if I had to choose, I'd probably lean more towards dogs. Are you a good cook? Am I? Do you sleep with the lights on or off? Off? Who sleeps with lights on? Do you prefer Titanic or The Notebook? 
Titanic because young Leonardo DiCaprio Am I right? Do you have a tattoo? I do actually. It's Peter Pan. Who sent the last text message you received? I got one this morning from my best friend Luna. Who was the last person you ate dinner with? My family? <laughs> last night? Who was your first boyfriend? Define boyfriend. See, this question's complicated because we gotta get into like well, what counts as a boyfriend? Does age count? Does like duration count? I personally feel like if it was before high school, it doesn't count. So that being said, you have to look at duration. I personally feel like if it's six months or longer, then like yeah, it was like a like serious like boyfriend, girlfriend, for real relationship. I've only ever had two relationships in high school. One lasted for a month, one lasted for three weeks. So I personally don't feel like I've ever really had a boyfriend. How old do you think you'll be when you get married? Never. What is your star sign? I am a Cancer, born July 3rd. Have you read any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games, or Twilight series? Which one is your favorite? I have not read any of the Harry Potter books, but I've seen all the movies. I'm getting around to it. Okay, so Harry Potter fans, don't come at me right now. But I love Harry Potter. I am excited to read all the books i love the hunger games i was a huge fanatic i had like a mockingjay pin and all of that on my backpack i was also a huge twilight fanatic like sixth seventh eighth grade like i was all about twilight i have to say though hunger games is probably my favorite just because i would like twilight more if bella the protagonist you know the person that little girls are supposed to look up to wasn't so weak like she's literally the worst protagonist and I'm just like really Stephanie really who was your first celebrity crush I was obsessed with high school musical so do I even have to answer what is the first app you check when you wake up in the morning Instagram what book are you reading at the moment I'm reading City of Ashes I just started the Shadowhunter series and it is so good so far this is only the second book so I'm not that far into it I'm so excited to read all of these and then watch the show which is the whole reason I kind of started reading them because I was like well if I'm gonna watch a show I'm gonna do it right and I'm gonna read all the books first so I'm excited what would you name your daughter if you had one what would you name okay what would you name your son or daughter if you had one i love charlie for a girl i don't know why but i think it's super cute and then i also love olivia olivia is also super cute i want to have two daughters so i can name one charlie and one olivia but i'm like what if i only end up having one daughter so then i'm like well i want to use both names so then i'm like well should i do charlie olivia but then i'm like that doesn't sound right or should i do olivia charlie which sounds a little better, but still not great. For a boy, so far the only name that like I would seriously consider naming my son is Kaden. I love the name Kaden. I think it's super cute. My baby cousin, his middle name is Kaden. His name is Quentin Kaden, which is so cute. But other than Kaden, I feel like maybe I do like the name Lucas or Luke. So maybe one of those, but Caden's definitely number one. Is there any item you collect? Yes, I collect snow globes. This is just a small part of my collection. This is from the Honolulu Zoo, and then this one is from Sacramento. If you can be any one person from history or currently alive, who would it be? Whitney Houston. If you became a multimillionaire overnight, what would you buy? I would buy my mom a house, 100%. Buy her a house, then buy me a house. What is your most embarrassing moment? Okay. In fourth grade, we so every Friday we would walk to the park and then, you know, walk back to campus. And I had to go to the bathroom really bad. And I kind of just peed on myself. <laughs> what language besides your native language do you want to be included in? I really want to learn Italian. Yo puedo hablar español y un poquito francés. But I really, really want to learn Italian because it sounds gorgeous. So those are all the questions that I picked. If you guys want me to do another one of these, except you're asking me questions, Comment down below any questions you have. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.